In these problems, we are finding counterexamples. If you want to prove a statement false, finding a counterexample, a situation where the statement is not true, is a great way to do that. Uh, we call statements that haven't been proved to be true yet, uh, we call them conjectures. That's a, a fancy word for a guess. Uh, and we can prove that a conjecture is false by coming up with a counterexample. And that's what we're doing here. Let's take a look at A. It says, if angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary, and that means they add up to 180 degrees, then one of them must be obtuse, and obtuse means greater than 90. So can we think of a situation where two angles add up to 180, but neither one is greater than 90? Hmm. Well, I can think of one situation that would work for that. If both the angles are 90 degrees exactly, 90 plus 90 is 180, but neither of these are greater than 90, so they're not obtuse. So this counterexample shows that this statement is false. Let's try B. It says, if the perimeter of a rectangle is 24, then the length is 8 and the width is 4. So if you have a perimeter of 24, then the length has to be 8 and the width has to be 4, says this statement. Well, that's silly, we know, because we can make all sorts of shapes of rectangles. I'm going to make one really long and skinny here. And I'm going to make it so skinny that this one, the width here is just 1. Now, if I have 1 and 1, that's I've used up two units of uh, the perimeter. I have 22 left over from the 24. So I could split that between these two sides and I'd get 11 and 11. Just to double check, 11 plus 11 is 22, 23, 24. Yep, it adds up to 24. So there's a rectangle with a perimeter of 24. And the length is not 8 and the width is not 4. So that is a good counterexample. So length 11, width 1. All right, C says if angle ABD equals 56 degrees, let's go ahead and draw a picture for this one. So ABD, let's see, B is the vertex because it comes in the middle. And then we've got a point out here called A and a point out here called D. All right. And point C is in the interior of ABD. So we just put point C somewhere inside that angle. Then the measure of ABC, OK, so they're making another angle by drawing a line through C there. So ABC is 28, and CBD is 28. Ah, So basically what they're saying is, if this is 56, then this has to be 28, and this has to be 28. Well, that could be the case, but it doesn't have to be. We could have one of these angles be really small and one of them be really big. As long as they add up to 56, um, that could be the case, because they're not telling us where C has to be in the interior. So let's let's just um, use those extreme numbers. I'm, I'll say angle ABC is 1, and angle CBD is 55. That still adds up to 56, and it's a good counterexample to this statement. All right, one more. It says, if the measures of P, Q, and R sum to 180, so they add up to 180, then all of the angles must be acute. Hmm. Well, I suppose um, that could happen, but they don't have to be. What if we had two really small angles? Let's, let's just go as small as we can. Let's put 1 and 1. Then to add up to 180, 1 plus 1 is 2, you'd need 178 more degrees. And this angle is definitely obtuse. So they don't all have to be acute. That is a little bit of work with finding counterexamples.